Well, thanks for all the comments this week. If you're just tuning in, what I'm doing this summer is throwing up one video a week, which is kind of crazy if you think about it, because I'm right in the heat of a lawn mowing season, buddy. Got a lot of comments this week. They're really good. And there's a couple that I'm going to talk about this week for this week's episode. First of all, a YouTube member named Bump6872 mentioned a couple things. One was about butter, but he also talked about fishing. And then another one, Neo Pop Support, he also said, hey, it's happening about fishing, but he took it at another step, and he said, you know anything about noodling? And that, my friends, is where we're going to start today. Now, what do I think about noodling? Awesome. I don't do it, though. I don't like surprises. That's why I've never been good at haunted houses, and I've never been good at noodling. I ain't going to sit here and tell you I noodle, because I don't. And if you're just trying to figure out what in the world is he talking about, if you don't know what noodling is, let me put it to you this way. You go fishing without a pole, you hop in some muddy water, you stick your arm in different holes in the bank, and you're trying to find a fish. It's going to clamp onto your arm, and you pull that feller out, and you caught yourself a fish. Boy, that ain't easy to do. I ain't kidding with you. So I thought I'd stir it up at the burger shed today because we got a lot of fishermen in the area, a lot of people that are very opinionated on their fishing. So I get in there and I ask old Hank Dobbs, I say, Hank, wh what do you think about noodling? And he said, that ain't really fishing. You know, just kind of matter of fact, just had his milkshake right there and you know, just kind of cooling off. And I said, it ain't fishing, what do you mean? He said, that's a lazy man's way of fishing. I said, lazy, how you figure that? Because they ain't got no pole, no hook, no bait. They ain't using night crawlers, minners, bass biscuits, nothing. I said, yeah, I guess you're right, Hank. All they do is jump in water, neck deep, stick their arm in a catfish hole, let it bite on, wrestle around with it, sometimes pulling out 40 pound catfish or bigger, using their arm as bait. And he kind of looked at me like, and I said, Hank, you're mad, ain't you? Because if somebody's noodling, they ain't buying no bait because they don't need nothing from your bait and tackle shop, ain't that right? He kind of shrugged at me and said, no. Which, when somebody says it like that, you know they mean, yeah. Let me ask you this. If somebody put a nice, beautiful catfish filet in front of you on a plate, nestled against some hush puppies and fried okra, and that catfish was caught by a noodler, would you eat it? And boy, his mouth was kind of water, and he's like, well, maybe I would, Tavin. So if you're using night crawlers, minners, catfish dough, stink bait, basque biscuits, salamander salad, sweet sallies, flip daisies, shiny blinders, salmon syrup, trout them out, brave barracudas, tootsie rolls, or your own right arm, get out there and enjoy that water this summer. We'll see you later. Go ahead and leave a comment so we can figure out what we're going to talk about next week. Thanks. Take care. We'll see you. Bye-bye.